Hey everyone, LJ here, voice actor for the critically acclaimed pop culture phenomenon character Little Johnny. Do you enjoy our content? I enjoy our content, but I also enjoy being able to continue making it and making it better. So if you would like to support us, head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TV channel for all of our content a week early if you sign up for early access. And heck, even if you don't want to do that, the content is still free. It will come out in just a week and you can still watch it as though you're watching a normal YouTube video. The difference being, it supports us and supports Vessel, which is a great platform. So go ahead, head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TV channel and get your free trial today. And don't forget to complain in the comments about how much you hate Little Johnny in my voice. I haven't heard it yet, so please, keep doing it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, SYNC! Hello and welcome, everyone, to the TTV Brickfeed Podcast. Yay! Hi. Horror. Oh. Got the weirdest feeling of deja vu. Yeah. Well, you, uh, you, you don't. Even... <laughs> yeah, you don't have any deja vu. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah Meso. What's your dealio? <gasps> okay, so do we want to say anything since Meso's kind of alluded to it? Or are we just going <laughs> to pretend like he didn't say anything and go uh, no, through the entire I mean, episode no, as we'll, usual? No, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, the last recording This is the second recording. Reco uh, Th this recorded. Wow. It got all, uh, what's the word, corrupted, so we have to re-record it. We have to. Right, so this is the second Ooh. time talking about things that we've already talked about before. Not awesome. me and Vin, right? <laughs> what? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Wait, exactly. was it Vin? He oh, no, he wasn't. No, he uh, was not I, here. I wasn't paying attention. This time around. We We're going to bring a fresh we burst of life. Oh. We sacrificed X for Meso and Venom. What? Good trade. Uh, We're going to bring some life to this party. Yeah, Let's yeah, do this. Dude, we could, we could do sure. this. We, we, we're the life so. of the party. We're the real life of the party. Wait, I'm sorry. Who's the life of the party again? I'm John. I'm Messer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm LJ. I'm Ven. Oh, and I'm purple. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh come I'm, on. I, I was waiting and for welcome X, but like he's to the not TTV here. Breakfast Podcast episode 15. That was good, John. Nice. That was pretty yeah. good. Now with less X. And also Thank less you. little Johnny. The ad is gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we, we finally, finally. That. Okay. We're done. I have been trying to get you to kick that bucket for years. You know what else? Years? You know what else is really? gone? You know what else is gone? Was my brick fair? What? Oh, uh, whatever. That was okay, very well synchronized. Thanks, up, guys. Purple. <laughs> That's good. If synchronized awing was a sport in the Olympics, I think it would have a good shot. Yeah, a good I'm shot still, at being last place. I'm, I am still Aww. salty. I am salty for several reasons. Um, reason number <laughs> one. I, Are you going to get into it? I okay, didn't go for get it. that Spider Man Civil War set while we were there, like how I planned on yeah. doing. We'll get more on that in a second. Reason number two. I didn't get that chrome how. <laughs> There's a point at Brick Fair where BZ Power had like bins upon bins of bionicle parts and Technic and all this and that. Just, and they just threw them out there for people to take so long as you donated any, you know, sum of money. So I was like, okay, here's a dollar. Now let me in those bins. In one of those bins, <laughs> I did not know there was uh, a couple of manas and a chrome how. And I was like, what? I didn't find out until way later when they were all taken. This dude had it in his hand. He's like, dude, I, I found this. I look at him and I'm like, you, wait, what? You, it was in the back. Uh, are you? Ah! And um, reason <laughs> number three, Brick Fair is over. And now I'm back I just, home. Yeah. And it's quiet. Too See, quiet. I'm salty because I had too much salt on my french fries at Red Robin. They're like overly salty. <laughs> Hard to eat. <laughs> All right, life of the party. Let's reel you two back. What's going on with now that you've had this your, week, your guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, I want to uh, say that this episode is sponsored uh, by Vessel, by our TTV store, and by Audible. All the crazy, exciting things and going on in the TTV store, like <laughs> blank and blank. <laughs> Yeah. Like all, oh, listen, the TTV store is so popular that all our shirts have, are sold out, and they have been sold out for the last two months. <laughs> That's how popular we are right now. Um, but really, uh, let's talk about the Tinker Truck takedown, since you already kind of, you know, went into that <sighs> then. Okay, yeah. So Can it be found anywhere? First, so, first of all, first of all I have not been able to find it anywhere. I've called multiple stores yeah, around so here here's in order the to thing find it. it with is, the Tinker Truck not takedown, around. for those of you who don't know, this set is actually a Toys R Us exclusive, and... 
nobody here knew that until we started looking for it. I didn't know it. it. Yeah. I don't think it's very, like, commonly known that it's a, the Toys yeah, R Us exclusive. I don't know if that was, like, ever popularly stated or something. It wasn't. I don't know. I never saw that anywhere. We were really... at the Lego store, and uh, the first Lego store we went to, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get the set here. I look, and I look, <laughs> and it's not here. So I'm like, okay, maybe they have it in the back. Maybe they just didn't put it on the shelves yet. So I ask one of the dudes, hey, dude, you got the tanker truck takedown? <laughs> the dude's like, nah, bro. <laughs> in fact... You know what? I think it's an exclusive. I'm like, what, dude? And the dude's like, yeah, man. I'm gonna go. Ba- I'm gonna go to the back. I'll pull out a list of all the exclusives. I'm like, you got a list? He's like, yeah, bro. So he goes back. I remember this. And then he comes- <laughs> I remember this conversation. <laughs> yeah. He comes back with the list, yeah. and he's like, yeah, bro. So here's the thing. Your tanker truck takedown is a Toys R Us exclusive. And I'm like, are you serious, dude? And the dude's like, bro. Yeah, but here's the thing. There's a Toys R Us like down the street. You can go to it. You could probably find it there. I'm like, dude. Okay, sounds pretty good. But we went and it wasn't. We we didn't find it there. <laughs> didn't wasn't the, there a Toys said R Us? The last one had just been bought. Yeah, yeah that's that's a wasn't it. That Toys R Us. Yeah, too? I think it was that Toys R Us that uh, I asked for, and the dude's like, Nah, bro. We just sold it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the first. Indication, not an indication, it's the first time I've ever seen an exclusive Lego set not be sold at Lego stores. Like, you ask yeah, a Lego store, weird. and they're like, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. Usually, Lego stores have everything. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, like, you'd think a Lego set would be available at a Lego Especially store. Like, like, well, I mean, to be fair, though. still buy the tanker truck takedown on Shop at Home, which is weird. Right, I was going to say and that. did you do that, Finn? Uh, No. Because uh, <laughs> why? I, no, it's funny because when I first checked shop at home when we were still in Virginia, I was like, okay, I'll, just, I'll maybe I'll order it online, and I saw it there, and I was like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, because at first I just needed to confirm that it was there, so I was like, okay, it's there. I can order it whenever. I'll order it a little later, and then when I went to check it again, like two days later, back ordered. This <laughs> set will not be shipped until about say. Uh, time estimate September something. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> but uh, listen, I so, think by this so did point, you order it at all? I, think I did actually. I ordered it on uh, Toys R Us dot com because, and this is stupid because at first they didn't even have it listed. Like when I checked Shop at Home, there it was. When I checked Toys R Us dot com after they told us that it was exclusive, nothing. There was absolutely nothing there. But by now it is there, and I did order it from there. So hey, go ahead. Now I'm checking. At least you got that. Checking uh, shop at home right now. Oh, tanker truck takedown is now available on shop at home. Great, thanks. Well, listen, you made the right decision because shop at home takes forever. Yeah, but so, T R U kind of shipping does is too. Yeah, infamously we, we got ridiculous. Bionicle sets. But I think you it's know, a case like the Spidey hype. I think it was a little they were a little unprepared for that. Yeah, people are very interested in Spider Man's MCU resurgence. Let's talk about the minifigure for a second, because Brickset did it's a review, good. and they posted some pretty high-quality pictures of the minifigure, and good grief, is th- like, the minifigure itself is it's, so good. Uh, it's, uh, except for that symbol on the chest. I hate to remind you guys of it, but... Ha, uh, yeah, I know. They... No, I like it. I mean, I don't I'm hate it. I'm fine with it. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's good. It's just inaccurate. Yeah, it's inaccurate. That's my thing, too. It's inaccurate. The one on the back, yeah. I think, is a little inaccurate, too. But that one doesn't bug me as much. The one on the front... Ha, bug uh, you. Spiders aren't bugs, they're arachnids. I recently got my first Spider-Man minifigure because I got the uh, Ghost Rider set as a gift. And oh, yeah, you I did. gotta say... It kind of sucks compared to Civil War Spidey. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. I see all the things people are always speaking of personified. It looks ridiculous. The Just the flat blue everywhere. Yeah, that's the thing that bothers me, too, is just so much... It, it really does look, like, flat. I understand the discussion whether it's, like, is Spider-Man predominantly red or blue, but the new one just... There's a lot better texturing on it. It looks like a better minifigure. And the colors look a yeah, lot more balanced. Yeah, it's got, like, printing all too. over the place. Yeah. Like, on yeah. the arms yeah. and the yeah. legs. It's beautiful. It's spectacular. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's one of the... amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows the uh, famous comic book series, The Beautiful Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the gorgeous, right? no. but, uh, the voluptuous Spider-Man. 
<laughs> the voluptuous oh. Venom would be a comic I would read. Oh, oh dude, God. I would read that all day, every day. Yeah, man. I feel like that to be fair though, okay, autobiography. So we saw a lot of like custom minifigures at Brick Fair. We did. And it's really telling that like I mean, a lot of them were stellar, and I mean, obviously they had a lot oh, of custom yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, I got pictures of those but for days, I would, dude. If someone, yeah, if no. someone put this up on display at Brick Fair, I would automatically assume it was a custom, custom yep. deal. There's so much detail, and like, there's so much detail applied to. I mean, the shoulders for one, the arms, I guess, not the shoulders, but like, you know, the legs have their uh, dual tone, yeah. and how they have the the back printing. Everything about it is just so well done. I, I really can't speak more about how much I love it. Yeah. And also they have the vision. The vision has the correct color uh, of the Mind Stone. And that makes me happy because I do gem. plan on, you know, I honestly should go ahead and buy the set. I, I should sign up for VIP. Like if honestly. we're going to get more in the system, yeah. I need to get a VIP account because Var yeah. has one and he's just been raking oh, up yeah, the points. Oh yeah, I have one too. Oh, yeah, it's really worth it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is but, So wait, awesome. so how, did, wait well, how does VIP work? So basically every uh, like you get a purchase. point per dollar you spend and then you get to like use those points again or something. Yeah. Is it a free yeah, account? Okay. So is it you only get, from you get a the point. store though? Usually <laughs> it is a point per dollar. I don't know if that's on every set, but the larger sets it usually is the case. And you rack up a, it's basically like frequent flyer miles. Eventually you just get a free set. Is you it can use only those for now here's the deal. is it only at the Lego store? Yeah. It's Lego yeah. store Lego and Lego shop, shop yeah. at home. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, let me check if there's one near uh, where I'll be moving to in Virginia, and I might I might start like using Honestly, that. Honestly, I'm more. surprised I, you guys I signed didn't up do for this a VIP already, at a, because I, I even used well, I, I even signed up for VIP. one, but I even used the VIP yeah, thing account. for Bionicle sets. Yeah, I mean, I had one, but it it just expired. Oh, because I didn't use rip. it. All right, let me go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna check out some sets because I, I want to buy the Spider Man so here's, set, he, and I I'm really happy have... that that the vision is is correct because I, I know a lot of people aren't happy that him and Cap are in this set. Because they already have a vision that's almost identical, and then Cap is exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at least, at Cap. least the vision there is something for the vision, or something for Hawkeye, and there's something for Spider Man. So Cap is the only one that you kind of are meh about. Very, very I, true. honestly, the thing about Cap is that like they missed an opportunity to uh, do a little bit of an updated Civil War costume Cap, which is different from his Age of Ultron version, which is the version that's used in the set. And so it would be nice to have the Captain America version of uh, Captain America, or you know, a Civil War version of Captain America. America in this set as opposed to like you know having the same captain america we've already gotten before because he does have a different costume very true in yeah. the movie yep that is that's i a feel very like good point. man you know we kind of like i wasn't gonna get this set i hate the tanker truck i kind of feel like i'm obligated to i feel like we've talked about this set like four times on the break feed podcast <laughs> like, yeah it's just I mean, a yeah, yeah. set it's like so many times for, for just being a little tanker truck with a couple minifigures. It has a lot of weight to it because of the figures it includes. I kind of feel like I'm obligated to get it. Yeah, almost. yeah. You I, don't I, usually I get four minifigures. That's partially why I want for the set, the whole set too, instead of just like getting yeah. the minifigure by itself on a. E- it has a e- lot of stuff to it. Yeah, because I only care about this set for Spidey, and I did see some. I did see like at least one listing for the Spider-Man minifigure on eBay, but I was like, you know what, man? No, I came too far. This, this whole set <laughs> talked about has been it on my much. mind. Yeah, talked about it too much. I need the whole thing. I need to prove something to myself. Plus, I get a vision with a correctly colored Mind Stone that I did not know that. I mean, yeah. I, I ideally, how often do you get like a like a, a set with four licensed theme minifigures that are for actually $30? good? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, like I, I don't, like, this is a very reasonably really priced good. set yeah. too. Yeah, for all the minifigures you get, and I mean the tanker truck isn't the best of. Builds, but yeah, like, it's just a really basic truck. I'm surprised you get all these characters in this set. Yeah, it, it really, is a good really deal, especially me. if you can like afford some of the more uh, expensive sets, like the the airport battle or uh, last yeah. year's Quinjet set that had Vision in it. And that that before this, that was the only way you could get Vision was getting that expensive freaking set. But now yeah. you can get Vision, you get the titular character, you, you get Spider Man, you get Hawkeye that everybody loves now. And and really. Ideally, perfect scenario. What you should do is get the tanker truck takedown and the superhero airport battle. It's going to run you one hundred and ten dollars, but you have everything at that point. You have yeah. the yeah. entire scene. Yep. Uh, Even that's gonna, Sharon that would make a Carter. Really cool, uh, say what? Even Sharon Carter. Even Sharon <laughs> yeah. Carter. Yeah. Is there a Zemo? Is there a Zemo minifigure? No, no, I saw There's a custom so one. Dude. You don't have a Zemo. I saw a custom one at Brick Fair, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Why don't we have one? <laughs> 
Yeah, I feel like he just looked like a regular dude. Are though. you sure you'll have everybody? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Is Black have Panther? Why would Black the Panther? Oh yeah. no, he's not. Black yeah, Panther has yeah. his own set oh, that he's, he's exclusive best. to. Yeah, I forgot about Black Panther. Let me see how much that set costs. I it's think not another cheap. thirty. Is that another thirty? Probably being up. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it, is it is. Yep. It's another 30. I remember it specifically being 30 because I remember looking at that set and being, man, this looks cool. Looking at the price, no, that's not cool. <laughs> yeah, no, th yeah. that price is not worth that set. Like, the Black Panther minifigure is alright. I don't like you know, it. It's it not looks weird. I don't like the, <laughs> I think it the looks weird, cute. like, extension it has on the top. You know, with the, yep. the, yeah, the, the ears. ears or whatever. See, the ears, the ears themselves don't bug me. It's the fact that it makes his head look longer. <laughs> that that mm -hmm. bothers me. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's kind of yeah, it does. Awkward. You know, yeah. Captain America. One thing I really liked about the custom minifigures in uh, in Brickfair is that they made a ton of Captain America figures actually with, actual with the helmets. helmet. Yeah. Why, why? 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 Just throw us a bone, Lego. I don't right, know. Don't do this I'm not gonna lie. Deal. I prefer it without the helmet. You sicken me! Yeah, I don't, man, I don't, I don't I like it. I don't feel you at all. <laughs> I do not like you make the heads look a lot bigger. Yeah, it looks but. silly to me. Like the was it the, the custom ones had like the Flash helmet, like a modified version of the Flash okay, helmet. Is no, that what it fair was? Enough. Yeah, that they looks, did use the Flash I, helmet. As I did a base. not like that. But I still think that having the helmet would work for Captain America. Yeah, so maybe it just hasn't been done helmet. right yet. But yeah, I think uh, I right, think I need I to will, see it done properly. By that statement. But for now, sure. I think I, I like the the what what it's got going on now. I do like. I wish we had a like a hot guy. A hot guy. <laughs> hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, oh, this is the Avengers, right? We have a lot of hot guys in this set. But <laughs> wow. the actual Hawk guy, you know, like uh, from uh, Matt Fraction's Hawkeye? No, the, the I, don't one know. I don't know oh, what he's saying. Like, like, like just Fraction? a classic Hawkeye figure? Is that what you're what trying to say? Jackson? Yeah, Fraction. like, okay, here, I'll, I'll, let, me, let me get you this. Right? I mean, that's either going to be in some sort of a cartoon set or a, a like Comic-Con exclusive or something. Yeah, more than likely. Hmm. But, uh. Oh, that one. Okay. That's his, oh, it's like, like a kind of a classic comic uh, version. It does look good. Yeah. It does it's, look pretty good. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a classic comic version, but it is a version of Hawkeye. Yeah, it looks kind of basic, to be honest. Like, he's just wearing a t-shirt with a weird shape on the chest. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> wow. Hawkeye looks kind of basic. That's no superhero. That's kind of... <laughs> Kind of his that's deal. kind of his deal, man. He's just a dude yeah. with a bow and arrow that like, cracks. That's, Funny that's jokes his deal. And it's very jiffable. Thanks, Jeremy Renner. It's GIFs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you and the GIFs. Yep. GIF. Shout out. Anyhow, yeah. GIFs. <laughs> What's next? It's not peanut butter. <laughs> well, uh, speaking about stuff that we got at Toys R Us, uh, let's talk about something that happened to us at Brick Fair. Okay. Uh, the VAR, especially. Actually, uh, oh, okay. Oh, is it the, is it the yeah. Toys R Us thing? Uh, yeah, right. Okay, okay. That so dude. crap. We had it, y as you can see on our haul video, uh, which should be up uh, on Vessel right now. Is it? And you can probably go. won't be. Probably. I mean, it's already there. I mean, it's done. It it is on. Vessel. It's ready to it's go. Up, it's on YouTube as well. It's, ready it's to just go right now. waiting release. Let me go check. Right. Okay. Um. Basically. Uh. VAR got the final flight of Destiny's Bounty, which is the flagship title of last year's Ninjago. I believe it's last year. Is that yep. right, Purple? Yeah. Last year, the Possession Wave, uh, or the Ghost Wave, or whatever you yeah. guys call it. Possession. No, I don't know. Possession. It's not ready. Right, awesome. So, um... It's the, on festival. It isn't ready. It, okay, that's cool. It's private still, so... I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, that's what I meant. By the time this episode comes out, it will be uh, ready for the public to see. Uh, basically... Var got the set. He took it home and he opened it up. And I mean, the, the box was damaged on the outside, but we thought it was just kind of like some cosmetic thing. Around no, like yeah. normal. Here's the thing: he didn't even open it up right away either. You know, it just kind of sat around for a while into the night. We're all hanging out and say like, what at midnight? He was like, "All right, guys. Yeah. Now that we're all chilling, everyone's kind of lost their energy. I'm gonna take this moment to build the set." <laughs> 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 and then he grabs the box. It just went downhill. And he opens because... the box. And he yeah. pours out the contents. And we're all chilling on the couch playing games. And he goes, this this isn't right. This, <laughs> this, is, this isn't the set. I don't even set. begin to know like, where to talk about this. Because it was just an entire mess of a thing. The first thing I noticed was something trivial. Because the sticker sheet was half gone. 
Like half the stickers are missing. Oh yeah, that that's there. what it was. He was like, "There's no stickers. The stickers are. This is a used set." Yeah, it's a used. That's what he yeah, was saying. Something he was like, "This used. is a used set. This isn't right." But it got even worse. <laughs> yeah, we started sifting through the bags, and we noticed that there was a Galley 2015 mask from Bionicle <laughs> in one of the bags. <laughs> And that definitely is not in the final flight of Destiny's Bounty. Well, maybe it's just a crossover. You don't know. Yeah, that. maybe it's the uh, the Lego Cinematic Universe is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, here's the Ninjago movie, a widely successful theme. Here's Bionicle, which just got canceled again. Rip. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> it but, was so bad and because then, there were like, like other there was minifigures. a minifigure. Yeah, there, there was a collectible series minifigure, like an Indian gal, and <laughs> just sitting in a bag. A Native American girl. Oh my god. Thank gosh. you very much. <laughs> Sorry. Indigenous so American Continue. minifigure was Indigenous in the bag. Indigenous American minifigure. I remember someone Thank found you. like the the Bionicle slash Shima, that leg piece. They're like, uh, the uh, yeah. Scorpio legs and transparent blue. There was one of those in there. Yep. <laughs> it was like, and Ven uh, over here, he's like standing on the moral line like, hey man, I mean, it's already been open. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's that's some sweet looking parts. We all to, like slap his wrist and say, yeah. "No Ben, bad Ben." I mean, no one would have noticed. Jar. They wouldn't have checked. They didn't even check when the first person that bought that moral set line. M- moral, moral line, <laughs> dude. I don't care about no morals. This would have given me some <laughs> nice extra parts. Anyway, what was you mean, it like, to, to, to go with the extra parts I had been giving you from my Makuta build? Yes, uh, exactly. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what really was weird to me. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. The bags were closed. Is that true? They were not yeah. closed. They were they like were taped up. or taped okay. there you shut. Go. That, that yeah. makes sense. And then yeah, someone had taken the set. They'd taken out important pieces and just thrown random stuff they didn't really want in, I guess, and then returned it. And we're basically pocketing the expensive or rare minifigures and or pieces to probably resell at a later date. And I guess Lego just the Lego store just took it back. No, it, it wasn't was the Lego, Lego store. store. It was, it was Toys, Toys R Us. Us. Toys R Us. Yeah, even worse. Yeah, it was Toys R Us. Now, VAR came up with a theory because we obviously bought that around the time of Brick Fair, the yeah. largest, largest Lego convention in the world, as far as I'm aware. Oh, wow. And, of course, <laughs> his his thought was that maybe somebody had, at the convention, somebody had bought it, taken the pizza, pieces out, pizza, and then the given it back to sell these parts at the convention. Yeah, that makes sense. Because there were parts vendors, but there were also the minifigure vendors, which was really where the money was made. Mm-hmm. People took the valuable minifigures from sets, and they stuck them up. So yeah. we didn't look through. The moment we realized stuff was missing, we were like, well, we're just going to pack it back up and take it back. So we didn't really look to see what exactly was gone. But I would wager that all mostly the rare minifigures were what was taken out and then was going to be resold at Brick Fair Vendors. For massive amounts of money. But again, what bothers Possibly. me? I mean, like is that, like, we have no truth of that. We no have proof. no like proof of that yeah. at all. But so. it makes logical sense. It does make to sense. sense. It and does make logical that sense. What really bothered me about that situation was that like, the Toys R Us, they, they didn't even check the thing. They they sold they resold it at full price. They didn't even bother to sell it at, like a, a lower price because it was used already. They just took it as it was returned from this random person. They didn't check the contents or nothing like that. It didn't check at all the quality of the box and they just put it back on the shelf for somebody else to buy at full price and lo and behold it was var mm-hmm. and then when we went to go return it the next morning luckily that went smoothly you know even though var didn't have the freaking receipt <laughs> um they st- we still managed to return the set and the lady there was like oh sorry to hear about all this uh here here's you can take your money back and blah 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 she still didn't check the contents of the box which means i actually <laughs> could have taken some parts and gone away with it too if it weren't <laughs> for you meddling kids that is the absolute most terrible thing i can think of regarding this kind of a situation because they didn't check it we told them hey this has been used they took parts out we could have been lying to her and she just like ah! Thank you. Just took it back. <laughs> they probably repackaged it and put it right back up on the but, shelf. No, they probably did. <laughs> I, I really want to check it again. We must oh maintain honesty. Then We must be the change we seek in the world. Oh, I'm not saying check <laughs> yeah, it again to ben take the parts. Pieces. I'm saying check it again. Like, like you watch next year if we go again, that set's still going to be there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's like becomes a ritual. Every year we go to the same Toys R Us and we're like, is it there? Yep, still there. Oh and eventually we just have to buy it out of obligation. Just to, to make sure nobody else gets robbed. Right. Yeah, 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 I agree. It was a ridiculous <laughs> situation. But we ended up getting the proper set and we built it at Brick Fair, so That's it was good. fun to Yeah. Just goes to show you. Some people out there are sketchy, and some people in the group are sketchy, too. Hey. Yeah. And for once, it wasn't me. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's amazing. What a twist. But yeah, that's the... But yeah, there you go. That's kind of uh, what we've been dealing with recently. Anyhow, let's uh, let's talk about some of the new stuff that LEGO has Do a plug planned. In the middle of the but show. But yeah, I was gonna say real quick. Uh, <laughs> as you've heard, the whole video that we have showing all the stuff we got our loot from Brick Fair Virginia can be seen on Vessel.com, uh, and Vessel.com is where you can go to get all our videos for early access. Um, one week early access for uh, two ninety nine a month or twenty dollars for a year. Uh, it, it's very, it's a really great service. Uh, we've used it obviously for a while now. Uh, the little Johnny ad that you've all grown to love and hate. Um, <laughs> just, I just hate, hate and despise. Mostly just, yeah, mostly just hate. Uh, kind of illustrated how long we've been doing this program, but really it helps us out. You know, any uh, visiting the service and you know signing up for account really helps us out uh, that way. So if you want to support us and also get some of our content early, you can go to vessel.com slash the TTV channel and you'll be seeing a lot of our uh, Brick Fair stuff, including and hopefully at some point, some of the one of the cool things we did was a playthrough of the popular video game Until Dawn. Uh, and hopefully yeah. that will be to spoil seen it? in somewhere. I'm not spoiling the fact that we recorded something. We already talked about it on the <laughs> podcast. Well, I mean, I recorded it. things that haven't been revealed yet. I really hope that Until Dawn actually comes out and is intact. I really do. Because do. it's one of I the funniest so. things to me. There's so done. many great moments that we did with that. So, fingers crossed, hopefully all that footage, we're able to sync all that and make sure that's all It was all the perfect the kind right of person. game that catered itself to our personalities and play style. I Definitely. Think. So, get hype. Well, yeah, all right, so back to what's new on the LEGO docket. Uh, LEGO released uh, re very recently two new sets, uh, I guess in the past two weeks, that they're uh, planning to uh, release. One of them is the LEGO Architecture Capitol Building, which is interesting for interesting. us because we just went to D.C. That's pretty nifty. <laughs> yes, yes, we did go to D.C., and we never went to the Capitol. We saw it. We, we did we, see I, the we Capitol Building. We did see it, but we did not go to it. No. And this set is going to run you about... A little over a thousand pieces. No, if they were a thousand over... dollars, it's like, what the heck? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll tell you right now, nobody is going, no American is going to pay that much for the Capitol building. You don't know. Uh, I guarantee uh, there's some people. That's a pretty bold yeah. statement. Someone uh, paid $15,000 okay, for a up, piece of up. platinum Evoki mask. I'm just, all right, so. Are you saying no American, none of the people that buy this set will be Americans? People, Is that what you're going to say? People have no person $900 on a Spider-Man minifigure. I'm pretty sure somebody out there would buy this set for $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't even have for $1,000 for, for $100? I, I mean, just, that's, that's I'm, an older I'm, set. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm saying $4,000. Of course they're going to buy for $100. It's, it's worth $100. Why, why, is it, why do they have to be American? Why can't it be it's, nobody will buy this for 1000 <laughs> Because it's a joke. Because like, because it's political the American discussion. capital building. Kai. <sighs> Man, this joke, joke worked really well the last time we recorded this, and now you guys. <laughs> Did you even like, use it the last time? What? Yes. Yes. I don't remember I specifically, it. Specifically, of course you don't. <laughs> anyway, it's a good set. It's Poor expensive. Elder. I'm not getting it. I want the Washington Monument. Well, yeah, I mean that. It's Probably good that that's you have just a... like two bricks on top of each other and then a pointy thing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, just <laughs> like whatever dumb Egyptian building you showed us last time too. You know, the Cairo like, Tower. That's just a... you mean the yeah, thing with the really thing. cool the spirals on the side. Don't cool. be racist towards Egypt. <laughs> Yeah, well, just, because, <laughs> just because you think no American will buy the Cairo Egypt Tower just... doesn't mean... <laughs> what? That's not what I said at all! Stop twisting my words! To be fair, okay, to be fair, though, you kind of do need a model of the Washington Monument, because apparently you weren't able to recognize it in your life. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I glanced at it, okay? Yeah, okay. Well, it's not you just glanced at it. I was like, that's the Washington Monument, and you guys are like, nah. Nah, you're crazy. Because well, yeah, <laughs> we didn't think we were in stinking D.C., because somebody here wasn't a good direction finder. Yeah, no, it was direction like, oh, finder. obviously, it's, the, it it's you know, the fake Washington Monument, just 30 miles outside of D.C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. other building that looks like the Washington Monument. But yeah, so I mean, the <laughs> set 
Set looks good as per LEGO Ar architecture sets. It's very well constructed. It's very smooth. A uh, snot heavily used here. It looks great. <laughs> so I asked this question the last time. Uh, what? Studs not on top. Studs, Studs not, not on top. Thank you. Thank you, Purple. Mm -hmm. uh, what are what are monuments that you guys feel would be really cool to see done in the LEGO architecture line? Because we've done several of them so far. <laughs> the Do you guys have Memorial. any like, things you really want to see? Have they made they the have Lincoln Memorial? Memorial? They did. They, they made the did. Lincoln Memorial. They did yeah. make oh, the Lincoln I wanna Memorial. See. I wanna Show buy me that. Yeah, that'd be pretty nifty to have. Anyone else? Any anyone got Mount some more Rushmore stuff? Mount oh, Rushmore would yeah. be kind of cool. Okay, here's what you could do. Sounds you can take thought. you can take that gun and go outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kahi, you're not explaining it well. So last okay, time, so Kahi last asked time. Question, the Lincoln Memorial. He Kahi was like, "Yeah, I want a Mount Rushmore thing. That'd be awesome." Now this is the second time we're recording it, and you just snatched that away from him. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, I was building up to that. I know they got She's the Lincoln idea. Memorial now, like an art thief. But does it actually have <laughs> Abraham Lincoln in it, though? Come on, he just I Google a picture. I do not know. I I mean, like. I, it would be a pretty bad Lincoln Memorial set <laughs> if it didn't have Lincoln uh, inside it. That being said, I honestly do not know. So okay, let I'm, me lo check. I'm looking at pictures right now. I think I found the answer. I think you guys will be very surprised with this. Oh dang it! Now I just lost the picture. All right, L bide me some time. How do you lose a picture? Oh, shut I don't up. Think they do okay. have some well, okay. So I got the picture. Of... All right, here we go. Check this out. You guys ready for this? Oh, we're all ready I'm for so this. Ready. Ba 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 ba. Here we go. <laughs> and I lost the picture. And Mesa posted another picture. Would you stop posting picture? And oh, uh, yeah, uh, interesting. Cute. That's interesting. Yeah, pretty so nifty. tiny though compared to I mean, like, yeah, the capital. Well, gee, I'm a little disappointed. Really? I kind of expected it'd be like a white Abraham Lincoln minifigure, like an all white. You know? Nah. That would be the proper place to put it, but it probably didn't fit the scale model. I know they should have made it bigger. Uh, what yeah. I would like for Mount Rushmore, because I would totally be down for a Mount Rushmore architecture set, but it would have to be done in a specific way. I want the heads to be on ball joints. I want oh them to be gosh. like ultra bell heads. <laughs> like no, the no, Uncanny no. Valley esque oh, face. God. <laughs> that like they keep so weird. Them around <laughs> <ball joints. laughs> oh, jeez. Did you hear that? <laughs> I felt a disturbance in the force. It's like a thousand <laughs> AFLL spirits cried out in anguish and were silenced. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no. man. Maximum post no. No. The train is fans. I mean, listen, snot building would look great on a Mount Rushmore. The set. monument It'd would not be, be complete without maximum articulation. Oh, <laughs> right, articulation on a mountain. Yeah, on the well, Mount Rushmore. That the I remember that documentary though. You know where they talked about building Mount Rushmore and how there are th like four <laughs> mechs inside of the mountain. And when America <laughs> is in dire need, when Russia and China have teamed up and are attacking the United States, the like the four bodies of the presidents will take upon the mantle of freedom, to become these giant mechs and fight them off. I remember I that. Love, okay. Is this their replacement construction like the, theme that we're talking about? <laughs> no, listen. The mech theme. I love the fact that, like, the idea that someone is like, you know what America really needs? The Wizard of Oz. And then built these <laughs> four apparently very articulate heads so that you could travel to them. And then, like, I guess they would give you special abilities or whatnot. <laughs> I'm all about this more. life. Ugh. Okay then. Okay. Anyhow. Nice detour. Right. Well, yes. Listen, <laughs> Any, I, anyone? What was the other set else? they made? But you mentioned there were two. What do you oh, mean? The other set is the holiday train. Oh, which, yes. Of course, all of us, being the big Bionicle fans that we are, are also huge fan of trains. Yeah, it looks I cute. I love trains. I mean, it's got I, I like charm. trains. I like. I, I, I think, so funny. I think trains are pretty trade. neat. Trains are actually pretty neat. I okay. As a kid, I was not into trains. I I was not into like I was into like spaceships and that kind of deal. Trains did not catch my attention. I thought that the track made them there was too limiting. Didn't like them. But the Lego trains in and of themselves are really great sets, and they really like tie a uh, what X was talking about last week. How they really tie a giant Lego city together. Oh yeah, hey, guys. Speaking of Lego cities, 
Real quick, did you know that Purple has a Lego city? Yeah. And like, yeah, this, this in her is house? real. And, and like a day mm-hmm. later, she still hasn't given us pictures of it. Oh, so. yeah. I forgot wow. That. Thanks, Purple. We're too busy so, like, like yeah, playing last, games and watching YouTube When we last recorded night. The, the last episode, Purple <laughs> revealed to us that, I mean, we knew that like her dad kind of was at Neo Fellow and had some Lego sets. He literally, they literally have a whole room dedicated to a giant Lego city. <laughs> yeah. It's like Dang. we got we've gotten so many like modular buildings and like just general city sets and stuff like that that like we have to have an entire room dedicated to just the city. That's pretty crazy. You gotta get pictures of that for the video. Yeah, Time it's like yeah. whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to get clean it up a bit because like <coughs> my cat sometimes goes through there and like breaks stuff. But yeah, why don't you just lock the door so your stupid cat can't? Well, go I away. usually do, but sometimes she like cat. gets past me. It's annoying. Yeah, that stupid yeah. cat. Because it's more of like. A transitional room, I guess. Like you have to go oh, through it to okay. go to like another room. So right, okay. So it's like the in between. So it's a nice centerpiece. Like you, you have mm-hmm. guests over, and you're like, "This is, you know, this is my house. This is my family. This is the giant room dedicated to all the Lego stuff I have." <laughs> well, this it's not all the-, the Lego stuff. We have like three rooms for Legos. So good grief. Yeah, I gotta my- say about trains. I'm not one for trains, but I am very happy that they're making another Lego train because I know Lego trains is a really devoted fan base, like a surprisingly dedicated group of people that really want very more dedicated. Lego trains. We saw we saw some really great stuff at Brickfield. There was some they had fascinating a, a, a stuff at Brickfield. Dude, very, very yeah. good. Not even just trains, but a lot of the circuits people would make. A lot of like I saw one Lego like roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, the roller coasters. Took the videos of that. There were all kinds there of was mechanisms. Like- <laughs> There was there was one point I remember we were like looking through and we found this castle and this was a gorgeous castle. It was very big, very uh intricate and we looked uh at the cre- it says who created it and their age and it was this girl and she was like 16 years old and we were like we looked at each other and we're like can you believe that that 16 year old has a dad that makes that much money? There is no way. There is no way that there's like you know the 16 year old paid for all of these Lego bricks by herself. Obviously, very very good. You know, very nice put together mock. But like, man, that dad has to be making the sheer bank. quantity of parts. He's probably like a doctor or like an engineer at PayPal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the like engineer. the Vatican though. Okay, that va- okay. Let's. Oh boy, the Vatican. That was great. The that Vatican. Was incredible. We yeah. saw the Vatican being assembled over the course of many days. Yeah. And at the beginning, we we're kind of like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." And the the like, we kept coming back day after day, and the better it got. If anything motivated me to be a larger system fan, it was Brick Fair. Seeing the stuff Definitely. that people can do. And since then, I'm thankful enough. I've got a couple system sets, both of them motorcycles. But I got the Ghost Rider set, as I think I mentioned earlier. And also the Harley Quinn Deadshot Batman <sighs> bike set. You don't understand how happy chase. it makes me to hear that you guys are just like getting more into system because I've already been in the system for a while, like low key in the system for a while. It's always like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Avengers sets are like a couple of years old. Uh, I've got, I've been buying, I've been buying system, you know, kind of low key as well. Not as much, obviously, because I'm poor, but, uh, I I got like the Hulkbuster. The, I've got I've been getting like some of the uh, the previous uh, Dude, I got, like, sets. The There's the one with system Miles Morales. I've gotten in a while. And just this I, past I, I've month. been buying some system too. Uh, you know, yeah, on been, the Thor. Well, I've been buying system since like Ninjago came right, out. But we like so. typically so, only get never system. like invested in it, and now it's like now we we've had this podcast going for a little bit, and now we're all starting to be like, yeah, no, I want to collect more. I want to get more. It's the way of the future. <laughs> yeah, I want to get more. It's get like uh, I've I've gotten very few system sets in recent years. They've usually been as gifts. I've got a couple Chima sets, a couple Ninjago sets. I got the Minecraft snow set, which was very very nice. Uh, I would recommend that to anybody. Very good set, but I, the only system I think I've bought with my own money, aside from these motorcycle sets, was uh, three Mixels way back when. So I think oh, it's yeah, about time we mixels. all... Yeah, Mixels are good. So going forward, it's going to be a challenge, because system sets are very expensive, and they also take up a lot of room, which I do not have. Yeah. But Bionicle's over. So out with the old, in with the brick. Let's do this. <laughs> Honestly, uh, system does not take up that much space. Yeah, it depends on, like, what you yeah, get. Like, it, if you get, like, a huge set, like the Air Jitsu Temple or whatever, then, yeah, yeah that's bigger probably sets be will definitely be harder, obviously, because they're big. But, like, I'll put it to you this way. I had no problem finding space for uh, the Spider-Man bridge set that I got. 
I mm. managed to f- it, it I managed to fit that the Doc Ock set and the Daily Bugle set from a while back onto one tiny shelf. I'll take a picture of that for you guys to see. I managed yeah, to fit all that. You got the Doc Ock set? Yeah, I got the Doc Ock set. I got that like yesterday. I I caved, dude. The I was one? looking at pictures of it the other day. And I was like, man, you know, this actually seems pretty cool. See, I gotta ask when we when we lo- did looked at it in Toy Fair and when we spoke about it on the podcast before, I thought it. You cut out. All right. It, I thought. Well, anyhow, I um, thought it looked pretty terrible. <laughs> but while he's now thinking, that- uh, let's talk a bit about uh, Audible. <laughs> wow. You go to sure. audibletrial slash TTV. You can get a uh, one audio book of your choice. We usually recommend Brick by Brick, uh, which is a fantastic book about the business strategy of Lego and kind of about how they uh, transitioned from the company they were into the company they are now. Uh, but, I mean, you can get all sorts of stuff uh, from Audible. It offers a wide variety of audiobooks. Um, one I've been listening to recently has been um, the A Wrinkle in Time, which is actually a really great sci-fi book. And I've been listening to it on uh, my road trips going back and forth from Brick Fair. So if you guys are interested in anything else... Uh, Totally check it out. Honestly speaking, especially if you do like a road trip, one of the best things you can get. And again, that's audibletrial.com slash TTV. Yeah, I almost did Audible once, but then I realized I don't like books, so I just didn't. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, well, <laughs> that stunning know. endorsement from <laughs> You are would you are. have used service if I liked it at all. <laughs> you are possibly the most boring, bland, un interesting person i know you have it's funny you, you say like that nothing. despite the fact that i've been to like six different countries and Ooh. i travel all over the place and I, don't care. Care. Stuff. I don't care about and that draws. i mean to be fair though you might have gone to different countries but did you actually do something there or did you just kind yeah. of sit in your room with the computer no, i did stuff really like yeah. what? Why are you so uh, well, for those like countries, you know I was in an life. airport, so I'm just had to like... Them, no, we... So for those countries, <laughs> for the six countries, you the tried, extravagant you tried, adventures that I've been on, I sat in an airport. That doesn't count. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't Lego related. Let's get back on topic. Yeah, so like, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, they're right. We gotta move on. Well, uh, hey, how about that there Ninjago news? Okay, so what what is this? Uh, news? That's stupid I ninja didn't girl. Hear everything. <laughs> oh, screw okay. off. Basically, they added new people to the cast. We uh, they confirmed, by the way, all the the cast that we knew of beforehand, which was like Jackie Chan and uh, like Dave Franco and all those guys. But they confirmed two new people are joining: Olivia Munn and Justin Throw. And Justin Throw is going to be playing Lord Garmadon, and Olivia Munn is set to be playing uh, Lloyd's mother. Now they they don't name her, and I, what's her name again? M- Misako. Misako. Yeah, they call I, her Coco I it's... in this, and it's like, what on earth? Did they like change they... her name? Wait, they called her Coco. Where is that? I'm in love with yeah. the Coco. Just. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it says it on the page. It just they refer to Lloyd's mom as Coco. No <laughs> That's reason. That's interesting. Spoilers. I did not know that. Her name isn't even Coco. Like it's Misako, Coco. but like anyway. <laughs> Here's the thing that they also release uh, a new synopsis about, like, uh, synopsis, whatever. Synopsis. Uh, synopsis. 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 I think it's synop- synopsis. Synopsis. Yeah. Synopsis. Description. <laughs> they released a summary of the <laughs> latest, uh, <laughs> of the new Ninjago movie. And it's actually different from what we got beforehand. Before yeah, we got something like about them being different. in high school, um, and kind of like saving the world. And this one kind of gives more, uh, information about Lloyd and Garbanon, which are apparently going to be the main focus of this film. In fact, I think Lloyd is the main character, of course. Uh, and one thing they also know is that they're going to be mechs in this movie. In fact, mechs might be a huge part of the movie because it's, and I quote, it says, pitting mech against mech and five against sun, the epic showdown will test this fierce but undisciplined team of modern ninjas. So like, apparently, uh, Lord Garmadon has a mech, and Lloyd also has a mech, and they're going to fight. Yeah, there have been, like, Ninjago mech sets before, but they've never really been, like, a main focus. They're usually just, it's not like, like, a Hero a- Factory deal, right? Or, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have, I like, wouldn't necessarily say that they Well, okay, sure. Nia's, one, Nia's one was pretty big, but I feel like the others were just kind of vehicles they used. Nia's was important. They did have others that were important, too, later on. Well, very briefly, I would say- though. Like, this Benjutsu yeah. Master's mech was only useful in getting Lloyd over to a different continent, basically. And then, like, I mean, Zane's sure, mech but... was only in, like, five minutes of possession. Like, they still played know. roles, but, like, they weren't, like, really all that important. I mean, I guess that's, like, the same for every vehicle, too. Yeah. Right? Everything that isn't a dragon. Pretty much. Well, it's the Ultra Dragon. I mean, ba- basically, that's true. The The vehicles have never been, like, that big of a deal, I feel. I think um, they should replace dragons with vehicles. 
Ugh, no. More dragons, wow. please. That's... That way we don't have to deal with dragons anymore. I don't like dragons. The dragons are like the I best just... part of the Ninjago sets, though. They're like, just honestly. so stupid. Not really. Uh, I, I like All the dragons, horrible. especially well, now. Welcome compared to the part to of the before. show where LGO will say things just to make other people angry. <laughs> I like I like the, the dragons. Kill the now. Dragons. I like that they don't have that weird, stupid, uh, pre molded Head face. Mold. Yeah. Yeah. Like those, no, I'm, they're I'm cool as like. I don't know, decorations are just like as a piece by itself, but when it's actually on the dragon, it looks yeah, very they, odd. Yeah, the dragons never look good with them. It's just that there weren't enough pieces on the dragons like that head. So it's like, you yeah. got the head on top of a bunch of blocky <laughs> constructions. And it's like, ugh. But yeah, now we got really a more consistent style, much. and I like it. I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, the, the dragons are cool. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You mm -hmm. better admit it. I gotta get more Ninjago you sets. better admit it, you little... <laughs> I built the dragon for Destiny's Bounty. By the way, we did a live build of yeah, Destiny's that was Bounty awesome. at the front of Brick Fair. Uh, we were all there, and we built... Var brought it out, and uh, I think uh, BZ Power had the Ghostbusters set, but they kind of completed that early on in the day. They did it all day Saturday, and then early Sunday is when they just, you know, they finished the set. So we took uh, Var's Destiny Bounty set, and we built it there, and I built a dragon. And man, is that dragon cool. Yeah, it's, it's like one of the only dragons I don't have yet. Right. Yeah, it comes with a very large set, so I can totally see why you don't have that yet. Yeah. But even still, so. they're definitely some of the, some of the better Ninjago sets because everything else is just like the vehicles, and like the vehicles are kind of cool yes. and all, but like as time goes on, they just kind of end up being like recolors of each other. Everything kind of like, blends they together. Get old. They do have oh, structures. Cole has a buggy or a dirt bike or a motorcycle. Another thing one. All the different yeah. vehicles from the Ninjago waves yeah. all end up blending together to me. Very few are memorable, very few stick out in time, except for Destiny's, not Destiny's Bounty. Well, yeah, I guess Destiny's Bounty, but also the Ultrasonic Raider. However, yes, yeah. the dragons are truly the pinnacle of everything Ninjago is, especially the epic dragon battle and the Ultra Dragon. A time oh honored legacy. What do you think about their, the possibility of the new Ninjago focusing on, like, mech battles? Possibly. Uh, that'd be weird, because, like, I, I don't really want it to be, like, some sort of Gundam thing or Gurren Lagann, where it's, like, entirely I focused on mechs. I absolutely do. <laughs> Listen, I want a theme that's like that. I just don't think Ninjago should be that theme. Yeah, Ninjago bring back that that mechs, that would literally theme. what it was. Ninjago already has mechs, and they also have ships, and they also have jets, and they also have dragons, and they also have bikes. Ninjago that's should been the not thing that, be... That's bothered me. Ninjago should too. not be one thing. Ninjago is an amalgamation of different things. That's kind of what it is, with a focus on dragons, I would argue. Yeah. And that is its shtick, and that is how it should continue. Mm, I guess. I get, well, yeah, if that's become I mean, I really, sick. I just want Exoforce back. I, I <laughs> yeah. want to relaunch of Exoforce. Uh, I want Exoforce, 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 Exoforce sort of different sets. ideas be split up into different themes. Yeah. So say the Exosuits and stuff, that should definitely be Exoforce. See, I've yeah. never owned an Exoforce set, and I never seen one in person until Brick Fair. So that one vibe. Yeah, I used to have like oh. not that all of them impressive. Teams. I don't get the yeah. hype. <laughs> oh, stuff it. They're <laughs> just fine. that one. I mean, they're kind set. of old sets too. But yeah, that that's true. That that one set in particular wasn't exactly the greatest from the original <laughs> line, and uh, it's very dated. Keep yeah. keep in mind that came from the line of sets that killed Exoforce. So rip. They were not <laughs> very well. Enjoyed. I mean, sure, but like, there, I mean, you know, Exoforce, a lot of the older LEGO sets, as nostalgic as they are, really do need an upgrade. Like, seeing a lot of the sets now, I'm like, you know what? LEGO really has improved in terms of build quality. Oh, definitely. And I mean, I mean sure. Yeah. What, what I'm Especially saying mechs. is, what I'm, I'm saying is, Exoforce has a lot of amazing mechs. That was not a good example because it, it was from the line nobody liked. So sure. everybody acknowledges that was not one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally sure. They, they are. They did use an older building style because it started in 06 and in 08. However, they do have a lot of really great sets. Definitely. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so beloved. Yeah. I don't know. I'm split on a revival. I mean, we, mentioned, we talked about this briefly during the TTV podcast, but like, I'm all for a mech theme. I want to see a mech theme, especially Exoforce, because people love that. I never got into it. I'd like a chance to get into a revival of that. But I also feel like the mech theme is the only future CCBS has. And I don't know if people would want XO for CCBS. Yeah, that might be interesting they if they little... figure out a way to like integrate minifigures in with CCBS. They did. It's called Hero Factory Invasion from Below. And oh people yeah, they, they, they wouldn't even, they that. They that. It, they wouldn't even need to well. reintroduce CCBS. They would. They could just work off of the Mixels um, system. I mean, they could. What was that? 
what was that fan show uh, that was like um, Elder? You were the voice of Leela in it. Uh, it was the one Rebirth where Chronicles. Uh, Rebirth Chronicles were like the, the human characters, and they they turn into like they get the robot suits on. Yep. What if they had that for like a relaunch of Ionicle? It's like these mini figures, That'd be hilarious. and they get into the giant like the Tahu mech and the the Gali <laughs> mech and all that stuff. Then I, I, I think man, I go up to Bill and say, "All right, this is your last chance, guys." Well, yes, certainly what Vin was saying, they do not need to reintroduce CCBS. They definitely do not need to. They could do a mech theme with Mixels. They could also do a mech theme with System. They could just do it regularly. They could just do a mech theme with the mech style that they do now. (laughs) But my thing is, the CCBS, the only future I think CCBS has in a way to truly be successful is if they integrate it somehow with a way to hook System buyers into it. So me being the biased Lego fan I am, want it to succeed, <laughs> so I want a CCBS mech theme that people will buy and love. Nah. <laughs> and <laughs> otherwise just gonna die and fade into obscurity. I'm, so. I'm fine with that. I'm wow. moving on. <laughs> You've moved on completely. Alright, well, fair enough. I think that wraps up just about everything we were gonna talk about. Anyone have any last thoughts about the Ninjago movie? What you want to see from it? I, want to see mech I don't want a corny high school romance plot i'm very someone. skeptical of it very but i'm also very intrigued are you kidding me they, are you like this is something you... they're totally gonna do it's they're gonna be in high school and jay is gonna have like the picture of nia in his locker and then cole Creepy. he's gonna be a jock he's gonna come by and be like hey uh, nia's my gal now jay uh, listen if, do you think they'll give Cole personality? No. He has <laughs> a personality, doesn't he? He had a personality. They took it out in later seasons where he's just like the, the dude. root guy who always eats all the time. He's like Axel from Nexo Knights, basically. Yeah. Oh, except come on, give him some more credit actually, than that. Except he actually talks in like real sentences. Cole got ruined. But like, if there's one thing the plot synopsis did, it did bolster my confidence that it will not be like that cliche high school kind of a movie the description it is classic ninjago but you can already see they're making some tweaks they're making some changes to suit the style of a lego movie especially that phrase of with garmadon what kind of phrasing did they use was it like worst the, guy the ever. worst guy ever it's like right <laughs> you can just tell it's like it's that kind of lego movie kind of a style and i got a feeling like that kind of comedy will translate very well into the ninjago universe so i'm very interested in seeing it that's for sure yeah yeah it's definitely going to be a Lego movie more so than a Ninjago movie. I want a trailer. That'll change my opinion probably. Yeah, I do too. But I feel it's probably going to come off. at the uh, the beginning of the year if I had to reckon. Oh, definitely. I had to reckon. I'm hyped. <laughs> well, I had to reckon. It'll if be I had at the beginning of the year. Well, I'll be seeing our trailer for him here, Lego Ninjas, before too long. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> In the meantime, we gonna go out and bike, wrangle our cows, milk them, and get some butter going. Sure, night. Uh, that's I would say this, please. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's 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 end this right now. Um, the Lego Dragon movie will be out September twenty second. The Lego Batman 2017. movie is co- two thousand seventeen. Yeah, you're right. Not September twenty second of this year. Thank you, Purple. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lego Batman movie is also going to come February tenth of next year at twenty seventeen as well. Um, I would say that by that time we will have at least one trailer for the Ninjago movie, probably c- coming out like maybe Super Bowl ish to be attached with the Lego Batman movie. That would be interesting. Probably. I mean, that seems to be around the, the time. Either by Christmas or by the Super Bowl, I, I think, would be our first teaser trailer from the Ninjago movie. So, uh, yeah, Ninjago fans, stay tuned, and uh, fingers crossed. Yes. Woo. Fingers crossed that it, o- that it, that it ends. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I don't think I can handle another favorite theme of mine, dying before it's time. I will <laughs> die when Ninjago dies. It's an evergreen It's been around theme. since, like, I started high school. It's like, <laughs> Ninjago's not gonna uh, end, but they might reboot. Oh, they did definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't really mind a reboot, to be honest. I still want to know what's gonna happen with the TV show, because, yeah, it's probably gonna get rebooted. Yeah. Well, that, that we can save something. this for the- next week's podcast, because it's time to wrap I'm, up. When we, we discussed starting Brickfeed, I figured we'd talk oh, about great. Ninjago. <laughs> now, just one final statement. It's relevant to what she said. <laughs> when we started Rick Feed, I figured we'd talk about Ninjago a lot more than we actually have. And I think yeah. it's because we've actually found ourselves able to talk about other system stuff. Like, you kind of figured we'd just be banking off the Ninjago lore, but I do actually want to talk about that at some point. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta finish my Ninjago Marathon. And yeah, you do. Up but man, yeah. mm-hmm. System has System has the one thing that all of us are also interested in. It has the superhero sets. Yeah, And we're all, like, super invested in superheroes. And, like, every time we see something new, we're always like, yeah. So superheroes has been really taking the majority of our, our time, totally. I feel. Uh, yeah. 
with here. But, you know. Either way, good stuff. Yeah, maybe next episode we'll talk about some more Ninjago lore. All right. Uh, well, thanks again for joining us for uh, the TTV Brickfeed podcast. Uh, my name is John. My name is Nessa. I'm LJ. Ben. <coughs> I'm Ben. Nice. And I'm purple. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. And this is good. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Are we not? Are we not? Hello, purple. You can say something. Uh, yes. No. Yeah. I did. I, on, I honestly didn't hear. I'm sorry. Hey, I just you toasted wow. it. Nice job, dude. Anyway, bye. bye. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye.